Chris, I'm sure you can be creative, Chris. Uh, okay. So, um, as a kind of, as a, as a perfect um, complement, but also counterpart to the BBC and the sort of the established values of the BBC, um, the Sharp Project, which is um, happening adjacent to Central Park, about a mile and a half. Um, out of central Manchester on, on Oldham Road. Um, Sharp Project is over 200,000 square foot of space, which, which offers, in a way, a multidisciplinary digital campus. Um, I was speaking to Sue Woodward yesterday, who, who has been heading up the project. And it, the, the term campus is Sue's term. Um, and I, I'd been struggling for a way to actually, for a single word to, to, to understand Sharp, and the word campus is great. Um, Sharp, is a, Sharp is a place where there's established companies working on major projects, such as design and specifically on film. Um, but it's also a place where a graduate, or somebody who isn't even a graduate, just somebody who's interested, um, can come in and get involved and actually work. Um, Sharp will have almost a, a membership um, uh, kind of structure, and a young person with a laptop can come in uh, and, for a very, very nominal fee, actually start working within wi wi within the, the site, um, and thereby find themselves amongst other people who have experience and who are doing other kinds of work, and provide this remarkable sort of um, opportunity of access. To, to get involved and to learn. Um, the, the remarkable common denominator between the different disciplines, between film, design, animation, and music, is the, the digital medium. And this really makes, it kind of marks a step change in the creative industries. The, the thing that's always been very difficult for any young creative um, is that you have to go you have to go to where the work is, and you have to go to where the decision-making headquarters of the companies in, in the particular sector are based. So 30 years ago, when I graduated as a graphic designer, I, pretty much, I, had, to, I had to go to London or maybe New York to, to pursue a career. Um, not, because, not because there wasn't any graphic design in Manchester. There was, but the, there weren't the decision-making headquarters. There weren't the clients there to support the good work. So if you want to do good work, you have to go to where good work is, is commissioned. And that you know, w w will be um, London or New York for graphic design, Milan for product design, Paris or Milan for fashion, traditionally New York or, or Hollywood for, for, for television and film. Um, and the, the big change that's happened is digital working. Digital working has meant that People are connected to one another pretty much around the globe. They, they, they see and exchange and discuss the work online. So you actually no longer have to literally, physically, and geographically go to where the work is. You can do the work anywhere. Um, I began to realize this four or five years ago when I started consulting to the city council in Manchester. I began to meet people who had relatively large studios in Manchester, 30 or 40 people doing um, digital design, doing website design and other forms of, of screen-based work. And I didn't get it at first. I said, are you, are you, I said, who are you working for? You've got 40 people. Who do you work for? And they said, well, Intel's our biggest client. And I went, wow. I said, are you on a plane every week? No. And I said, are they on a plane every week? No. And, and I said, how does it work? So then, you know, the person running that particular company says, just said, Peter, it's all online. And, and that was the beginning of the kind of penny dropping for me, that the digital medium just marks this remarkable new opportunity for the creative industries. And certainly in conjunction with the BBC, but also with the colleges, the creativity, the ideas that have always been in Manchester, I think the opportunity to really, to really build a big new sector in creative media is quite is quite astonishing for the city. And Sharp, without a doubt, um, is going to help in that by providing this access. Um, it is about all of that, and particularly it's about a way of life. Um, creative work 
isn't done by sitting at a computer somewhere in a business park. Creative work is done um, by meeting people, by walking down the street, by bumping into somebody you didn't expect to meet, in, in sharing ideas, stimulation, and, and hearing about what's going on and being part of what's going on. Um, you know, a trip to a news agent can often be the most um, inspiring thing that can happen in your day. And um, as I see Sharp developing, I see pretty much a way of life um, happening there around the campus. Um, and animation, games, films, music, design, all of these things um, are kind of brought together by the digital medium. Um, there's a piece of work coming up, but just before we play that, um, I was picked up at the airport yesterday by a nice um, English-speaking person called Chris who turned out to be from Knotsford, outside Manchester. Um, and I asked him, how did he get here? And um, he said he'd been living over here nine or ten years. And he'd, he'd been at college in Manchester and had graduated and was interested in film and television. But Granada's kind of heyday had gone. And um, he hadn't found a way into film and television in Manchester and ended up driving a taxi in, in Cannes, <laughs> oh, which is a, was a reasonable alternative, I guess. Um, but between what's happening at Media City and, and, and the possibilities that Sharp offers, I, I would like to think that the, the, the Chris's of next year and the future um, can find a way into those industries and not necessarily end up driving taxis, even somewhere as nice as this. Um, so can we just um, play this piece of film? This is, in a way, the first project out of the, the Sharp team. Um, it's a night viral called Hit the Target. And it exemplifies all of the disciplines that can be brought together.